welcome to the vlog. We've got an exciting vlog for you guys this time. Hey guys, I don't know how to intro a vlog apparently, um, but what's up? We do have an exciting vlog, I guess. We are going to the baby list showroom right now to get some stuff for the baby and also I am working with them and so I'm gonna make a TikTok. Dabbling in TikTok these days, I wanted to mention that. I love watching TikToks and like vlog TikToks and stuff and so I thought it'd be fun to like make some of those as well. Would you be interested in watching those? Cody's coming with me but he's taking a separate car because he has to go somewhere else after. We're, we're gonna go to lunch and then he's gonna go somewhere else after so. We're going to San Francisco tomorrow because you guys know, I've mentioned this a million times, but my best friend Elizabeth, she was pregnant and she had her baby. So we're going to meet her baby and then also another one of my best friends, Jenna, lives in San Francisco also and she also had her baby. And they both told me that they were pregnant at my wedding. It was very exciting. I'm really, really excited about that. And Cody's DJing some party tomorrow night, not tomorrow night, Friday night, like a little costume party. So we're gonna get dressed up. It's just gonna be a fun ass vlog. Fun ass vlog, bitch. F-A-V. We're together again and I'm always happy to be with you guys. I'm wearing a full on crop top to the babyless showroom, belly just hanging out. And I really wouldn't have it any other way. We left like an hour ahead of time and it's gonna take like an hour, 40 minutes to get there. So, yeah, that's really all I have for you. I am a bit starving. Didn't have too much to eat this morning. I had a string cheese and one of these fruit sauce crushers from Trader Joe's. I love these so much, but this is my first time trying the mango one and I didn't love the texture. This one was like too pasty. The baby's moving around as soon as I started vlogging, so he is also excited for the vlog and it's just all around an exciting time. One, two, three. Good morning. Good morning. We went to the Babyless showroom yesterday and I'm gonna make a whole TikTok about it so you'll see what it was actually like inside. Um, but it was great. I feel like we learned a lot, yeah, right? Definitely. We learned like about car seats and strollers and all of these things that we definitely need to know about. Yeah, there's so much shit that you can buy. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean. Like, it was a little overwhelming because sometimes like, like I would just see like things like there's like a bouncer for the car. It's like, do you need that? What? Uh, I also saw like a, a bottle sterilizer for the car. What? I'm oh, I was like, what car section were you in? <laughs> the pimp my ride yeah. section of <laughs> fucking baby list. Now we're on our way to the airport. Like I said, we're going to San Francisco for like a day and a half, so. There was the, the one thing where she was like talking about the car scene. She was like, infants have to face away from you. Or yeah. They have to face the back of the car. Yeah. And you're like, is there a mirror that we can attach to the seat? She's like, yes, we have plenty of those. And she points over her section. I'm like, how did, how, like, I didn't even think of that. Like, that is such, such a random niche thing. Like, it's, I want to see my baby in the reflection because they're turned away. So we need a mirror for the it's actually headrest not. of the back seat. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes total sense. But there was one of those mirrors with a bottle sterilizer in it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> we'll figure it all out. Don't, don't worry. It's going to be fine. I'm actually, like, really excited to start like getting the nursery ready and like really setting up because like time is a ticket. I am 29 weeks, so. And my sister just had her baby. Yeah, Cody's sister just had her baby yesterday. So we are officially auntie and uncle. Yep. Okay, let's go to San Francisco. Was like nails on a chalkboard, wasn't it? We got back from San Francisco a couple days ago. I just went and recorded a podcast with Allie Colbert. I was on her podcast a long time ago. She came on Circle Time. Now she has a new podcast and I just went on it and it was so fun. She is like so fucking funny and easy to talk to. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I was on time. Now I just went and picked up a smoothie and I ordered some groceries last night and timed it perfectly to when I'd be able to pick them up today. And so they're ready to be picked up and I'm right by Whole Foods. The first thing I get is a chunk. Makes me actually want to cry. See this? That's a chunk. We're just gonna power through.
swallowed. I need to sack up and I needed to learn how to drink a chunk. Also, when I got here, there was just a swarm of bees, <laughs> like just a huge swarm of bees flying around. And I thought it was flies. Either way, like didn't need to walk through it, but like I was like, oh, it's just like little fruit flies or something. They were bees and I fully walked through an entire swarm of bees and I made it out the other side. There were bees everywhere. There were bees in the smoothie place and then there were bees, I had to walk through them again when I was leaving. I went around a little bit, but they were still everywhere. I didn't really get many groceries. I just got like a couple things for dinner tonight. I'm gonna have BLTs because we got some really good teas at the Farmer's M. They were selling HTs. Heirloom tomatoes. My like two fixation pregnant meals right now are cottage cheese on toast and apple dip. So like it could be worse. Oh my god. We're home. Here's a little grocery haul. Bump date by the way. Here's what we got. This is the cottage cheese I like. Delish. Got a little milk, some cheese. Good snack. My favorite yogurt for my apple dip. Some iceberg lettuce for sandwiches tonight. Bacon. I got like whole grain bread for like my toast, but I got some white bread for the sandwiches tonight. Apples to dip in my apple dip. because we know that he tends to get scared and leave the room. But hello. I'm back in the kitchen. Um, I recorded my podcast this morning. I had a guest on. Sophie Ansari came on. She's a host on the Pod Crushed podcast. And she was so fun to talk to. She was also pregnant. And it was a very fun episode. So I had a great time. Um, and now I'm going to have lunch because I'm starving. We didn't end up having BLTs last night. That's why you never saw them. But I'm gonna have my cottage cheese toast. Multi-grain bread. Oh, oh, he's exiting the room. <laughs> I does he hate this? I remember when I was like trying out cottage cheese and I wasn't sure if I liked it. I was very desperate for food one day and I just like needed something and the only thing we had in the fridge was cottage cheese. And I was like, fuck it, I'm trying this again. So I just like made toast with cottage cheese on it and like put some spices on it and loved it. I usually do a little salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And then I do a little bit of this drizzling Drizzling the drizzle version of the Graza olive oil. I'll be 30 weeks in a few days. And probably by the time you're watching this, I'll be like 31, 32. This is what I do to, um, <laughs> That's what I do to cool off the toast after it gets out of the toaster because I don't like putting the cold cottage cheese on the hot toast. Let's assemble. the final product. It's not the most glamorous looking meal, but it hits the spot. And you know what else hits the spot? Fucking Gilmore Girls. That's what I'm watching right now. I'm loving it. I mean, I've watched the whole thing before, but like not enough to like, I still get surprised by things. Like I only watched it one other time, like all the way through. So I'm just loving it. So let's go watch. If you're Dinner time. Eating dinner. And it just looks like I'm sitting by myself housing a Domino's pizza, which is not wrong. I guess that is kind of what's happening here. Cody did also eat and he finished 
he got cheesy bread. Well, we got cheesy bread and pizza. But then I was like more t like leaning towards the pizza and he was like really enjoying the cheesy bread. So he kind of just ate all the cheesy bread or whatever he wanted of it and I'm eating the pizza. And Domino's has just been something I've been really craving lately, which is so funny because for like majority of my pregnancy, Pizza made me want to throw up a lot. It sounded so gross. But I really honestly think it's ranch, Domino's specific ranch that I've been craving more than anything. And I swear Domino's ranch is different than regular ranch. I think I'm gonna have some apple dip for dessert. This water bottle is everything to me. Iron Flask is the brand, it's half a gallon. And this is really just my life now. <laughs> I'm trying to schedule a million podcast episodes so that I can batch record for my maternity leave that I am taking. And so that's what I've been doing like all day. And it is kind of stressing me out because I just like reaching out to people makes me so uncomfortable because I'm like, hey, don't worry if you don't want to, totally fine. But like, I just get so awkward. But I think like the reaching out and the scheduling part is the most stressful. But then like once I have it all organized and like I know what's going on, I'll feel better. I've like done what I could. Now I'm waiting to hear back from people. So I've decided to make myself a treat. And that treat is my apple dip. This is all that goes into my apple dip. This yogurt, Skippy, mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. They have to be the mini ones because I, I liked only like little bites of it. And pumpkin pie spice. And I have my apples, so let's make this. Oh, and honey, honey. There is no rhyme or reason to anything that I use here. Like you could literally do whatever you want. I see people put granola in it. Oh my God, that was so much honey. That was a lot. Apple dip, apple dip. You have the apples, then you have the dip, and then you just dip the apples in the apple dip. And it's so delicious. And the beauty of it is that like, it's really just like a little treat and you don't need to eat it with the apples. So if you run out of apples, but you still have dip, you can just shovel it into your mouth with a spoon. Oh yeah, that's apple dip. That is apple dip. I'm gonna go eat all of this now. Hi, guess where we are? Say it with me. In the car. We are driving to a Chargers game. We're going to watch the Chargers charge through the bears through the field towards the bears demolishing them in their path mm -hmm. we have a little bit of a drive so we have some uh road trip snacks <laughs> these are cody got these from a place called fatty mart in um culver city in los angeles and they're these really good sweet potato chips i want to show you guys this nelly's protein bars i'm loving this and some i choose taylor swift's just released 1989 Taylor's version a couple few days ago. I have been waiting to listen. I have not listened to any of it. And I've been waiting to listen with Cody because I listened to the Red Taylor's version with him, Speak Now, and now 1989. And we're gonna get his reactions. I really am excited for him to listen to 1989 all the way through. I think he's gonna absolutely love it. Here is Cody's review of 1989 Taylor's version. Oh, I'm so excited to hear this. Do you know anything about 1989? I know it's got, you got that James Dean nice beat, look in your thighs. That is true. Do you know what that song's called? Uh, Style. Mm -hmm. And I just saw someone on TikTok like ripping on it because she didn't sing it very hard or something. Apparently, people are not liking this version. Here we go. The first one, Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. Uh, we just finished Welcome to New York. What do you rate it? Probably an eight. Love it. It's a great song. I think it's such a great song. I think it's such a great song. I'm happy yeah. you liked it. Super solid. Okay, next up, you're gonna recognize this one. All right, just finished Blank Space. Cody? Eight. Another eight, solid. I loved it. Got a little emotional there for a second. Started tearing up as, as I was listening to it. The bridge um, on that song. Boys only want love if it's too legit. That was good. Thank you. Okay, next up is style. Let's see what all of you guys are being is about unkind hair? about. Is this about Harry Styles? Oh, that's the singular of Harry Styles, by the way. 
Yes. If he's just alone, it's Harry Styles. Do you think he's ever alone? He <laughs> 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 never go out of style. All right. Ten. I mean, Ten. I'm gonna come out and say I think this version is better. The TikTok I saw there was someone like making fun of it because she just like went in the studio and was just like. Bum, 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 bum. Really? I didn't hear that at all though. Neither. It just like fits the mood of the song. Like. Okay. What's next? Out of the woods. Out of the woods. One out of ten. Probably another seven, honestly. I didn't have much appreciation for Out of the Woods actually until later in life. Um, it's a good one. I really like it now. I don't know if anyone remembers this, but do you guys? Did any, does anyone remember when the guy? I think his name's Brian Adams. He covered the whole album, like 1989. Like he did all, like he covered every single song on it. I always really liked his version of Out of the Woods better because it was like kind of depressing. That made me appreciate the lyrics, but now I appreciate the whole of the song. All you had to do is stay. Ooh. This is a good one. Hey, all you had to do was stay. Have all you had to do was stay. Nine. Oh, nine? Nine. Nine! Yeah, this album fucking rocks. <laughs> like, is this her best album? I'm like, so genuinely excited. There's no skips. Let's see, what's next? Oh. Shake it off. Shake it off. <sighs> it's gonna have to be another nine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think, I think Scooter Braun would like that one. <laughs> That's how good that one is. I think Scooter listened to that being like, this is pretty fire. All right, next up, I wish you would. I wish you would. Seven. I wish you would is a seven. I like the, I wish you were right here, right now. That is a bad part. I like the bridge of that song a lot. Next up is Bad Blood. She also, Kendrick Lamar also re-recorded his verse. No way, that's sick. I know. Oh my God. I know. Bad Blood. All right, BB. Eight. Bad Blood gets an eight from Cody. Next up is Wildest Dreams. Okay. I don't know how you're gonna feel about this one. Could be the first skip on the whole thing. Let's run it. Wildest dreams. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> wow! Oh my god! You're not lying. No, okay. I'm not. Cause and like normally like I don't like slow songs. Yeah, that's why I was concerned. I think slow songs typically is girl music and boy music is more like you know what I mean? Like girl dinner. Sure. Like I got shivers. Oh my god, you got shivers. Next up is how you get the girl, which is actually personally one of my favorite songs on 1989. That song is so fucking good. So good. That's a dad! You know, I was listening to that song the other day, and I was like, that might be the song that I play to my belly. This next one is a slow, is a slow jam. Oh no. Hey, it's this love. This love is good. Uh, five. Five. That's okay. It wasn't bad though. I mean, it wasn't like horrible as far as slow songs, slow songs go. Like I, I probably would skip it. Okay. I wouldn't listen to that again by choice. Ever? Again? No. Whoa! Yeah. I like that part. Yeah. Okay, next is I Know Places. I, 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 I. I know places where we'll be found in. Six. Six. Okay. I don't like open my phone and turn it on, but if it comes on, I'll listen to it. That's no, good. Next is Clean. I really, really love this song. Okay. This is one of my favorites. I think I am finally clean. I think that's like a 6.8. Yeah, 6.8. That was really good. You can hear, like, I like the production a lot. Yeah. Like a little like. All right, so we finished up to clean. Now we're gonna go to the game, and then we'll listen to the rest on the way home. This album rules. Charge on. All right, we're back in the car. The chargers, believe it or not, charged. I totally see why they call them the chargers. Yep. Bolt up! I'm still a little charged up from the game. I'm hungry. Do you want to stop at McDonald's? 
hungry. Would you eat something? No, I'm not hungry. But... See, that's like so not fun for me to like sit and just eat McDonald's while you like stare at me. I wish we were both hungry. So we've gone through the original 1989 because it ended with clean, I remember. And then they came out with the deluxe <coughs> version, and that's the songs we're gonna get into now, along with from the vault tracks. What's next? next? Up, Wonderland. Wonderland. We found Wonderland. Six and a half. Six and a half. Not a big Wonderland guy, no, huh? No, what? That's good. Next up, we go. You are in love. Oh, geez. This one's a little bit of a slow. Okay. It's good, though. I love this song. You are in love. Okay, I love that song. I think it's a five. A five. It's a, it's a beautiful song, but... Slow. Slow, yeah. All right, the next one I think is New Romantics. Here we go. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Five and a half. Oh my God. See, okay, this is the thing. I think he's tired now. No, not really. I mean, I'm, I had like a full rock star, so I'm kind of like turned up right now. I like the ones that I know. It, so it sounded the most unlike her usual style, I will say that. Okay. Now we might be getting into the vault tracks. So for the vault tracks, I've never heard these either. Okay, this one's slut. It's called slut. If they call me a slut. Okay, sorry, the lighting's getting worse and worse, but um, we just finished slut. I'm kind of a slut for that song. I, mean, I kind of am. That's pretty good. I think it was a 5.9. I actually really liked it. I think I'm going like eight on that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Obviously she wrote these like back in the day. And like like the line that's like, if they call me a slut, it might be worth it for once. That's uh, clever, I like that. Like, and also like, if it, we're gonna be drunk, or if I'm gonna be drunk, I might as well be drunk in love. If I'm all dressed up, they might be. They might as well be looking at us. That's that one's Yeah, 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 too. yeah. All right, I'll bump it up to a six. Okay. For the lyrics. Next waltz track. <laughs> Say don't go. Go. Six point four. I'm going seven. These are some good ball tracks so far. The next is now that we don't talk. Now that we don't talk. Eight. Nine. Yeah, it was a fantastic. Song. Now that we don't talk. Also short. No bridge. I I liked this the style of Same. it. Same. If that was a cool song. And the melody was fucking awesome. And the like whole, the, like the lyrics and everything. Yeah. That was really good. I'm very impressed. Okay, next. Suburban Legends. Suburban Legends. Uh, four. I would say five. No, six. It didn't stick out. But next is, is it over now? Uh, I don't know, is it? Oh. Nice, got me. And is it over now? I'm kind of freaking. Really? You liked it that much? <laughs> I really liked that one. I thought it was like a six. Oh my God, I'm going like nine, five. Wow. Like that, and my toes are like curled up in my shoe right now. Like really? that is like those, I mean the lyrics, it's so like quintessential Taylor Swift. Yeah. Like it's so good Yeah. what she's saying. Wow, I really liked that one. I love when like one song like alludes to another almost. She said like, uh, when you lost control, red, blood, white snow. It's like the same car accident that she's talking about in Out of the Woods. Ah. And like, it, I, I just I just love that. A lot of the vault tracks don't bring that out of me. Okay, so we're gonna listen to Bad Blood with Kendrick Lamar. Those vault tracks are probably my favorite vault tracks. That is it. We just listened to Kendrick's version. I love it. Love the fact that he re-recorded it. I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10. What did I give the original? I think you gave it like an eight. Then eight and a half. Um, that was great. That was Full fun. album, 7.9. 7.9. Yeah. 8.2. That was really fun. Thank you for doing that with me. No problem. Let us know what you think. Yeah, let us know your thoughts um, on our thoughts. I'm excited for this when we do this for reputation. All right. Well, thank you for watching this Taylor Swift review.